Boys, you firelock. Two motions. First, seize the firelock with your right hand and turn the lock outwards, keeping the firelock perpendicular. Second, bring the firelock with a quick motion from the shoulder and seize it with the left hand just above the lock, so that the little finger may rest upon the spring and the thumb lie upon the stock. The firelock must not be held too far from the body, and the left hand must be of an equal height with the eyes. Cock ya! Firelock! Two motions. First, turn the barrel opposite your face and place your thumb upon the cock, raising the elbow square at this motion. Second, cock your firelock by drawing your elbow down, placing your thumb upon the breech pin and the fingers under the guard. Present! Step back about six inches to the rear with the right foot, bringing the left toe to the front at the same time the butt end of the firelock must be brought to an equal height with your shoulder, placing the left hand on the swell and the forefinger of the right hand before the tricker, sinking the muzzle a little. Fire! Pull the tricker briskly and immediately, after bringing up the right foot, come to the priming position with the lock opposite to the right breast, the muzzle the height of the hat, keeping it firm and steady, and at the same time seize the cock with the forefinger and thumb of the right hand, the back of the hand turned up. Half cock your fire locks! Half bend the cock briskly with a drawback of the right elbow, bringing it close to the butt of the fire lock. Handle your cartridge! Bring your right hand with a short round to your pouch, slapping it hard. Seize the cartridge and bring it with a quick motion to your mouth. Bite the top well off and bring the hand as low as the chin with the elbow down. Prime! Shake the powder into the pan, placing the three last fingers behind the hammer with the elbow up. Shut your pans! Two motions. First, shut your pan briskly, drawing your right arm at this motion towards your body, holding the cartridge fast in your hand, as in the former position. Second, turn the piece nimbly round to the loading position with the lock to the front and the muzzle the height of the chin bringing the right hand behind the muzzle, both feet kept fast in this motion. Charge with cartridge! Two motions. First, turn up your hand and put the cartridge into the muzzle, shaking the powder into the barrel. Second, place your hand closed with a quick and strong motion upon the rammer. Draw your rammer! Two motions. First, draw the rammer with a quick motion, half out, seizing it at the muzzle backhanded. Second, draw it quite out, turn it, and enter it into the muzzle. Ram down! Cartridge! Ram the cartridge well down the barrel, instantly recovering and seizing the rammer backhanded at the centre, turning it and enter it as far as the lower pipe, placing at the same time the edge of the hand on the butt end of the rammer, fingers extended. Return your rammer! Return the rammer, bringing up the piece with the left hand to the shoulder, seizing it with the right hand under the cock, keeping the left hand at the swell, turning the body square to the front. Shoulder your firelocks! Two motions. First, quit the left hand and place it strong upon the butt. Second, quit the right hand and throw it down the right side. Rest your firelocks! Three motions. First, seize the firelock with the right hand, turning the lock outwards. Second, raise the firelock from your shoulder and place your left hand with a quick motion above the lock, holding the piece right up and down in both hands before you, and your left hand even with your eyes. Third, step briskly back with your right foot, placing at a hand's breadth distance from your left heel, at the same time, Bring down the firelock as quick as possible to the rest, sinking it as far down before your left knee as your right hand will permit without constraint. Your left hand at the feather spring and your right with fingers extended held under the guard, taking care to draw in the muzzle well towards your body and to dress in a line with the butt end. Order your firelocks! Three motions. First, 
Place your fire lock nimbly with your left hand against your right shoulder. Second, quit the fire lock with your right hand and sinking it at the same time with your left, seize the muzzle, which must be of an equal height with your chin, and hold it close against your right side. Third, lift up your right foot and place it by your left. At the same time, throw back your left hand by your left side and with your right, bring down the butt end strong upon the ground placing it even with the toe of your right foot, the thumb of your right hand lying along the barrel, and the muzzle kept at a little distance from your body. Ground jaw! Fire locks! Four motions. First, face to the right upon your heels, and at the same time, turn the fire lock so at the lock point to the rear, and the flat of the butt end lie against the inside of your foot. At the same time, slip in the right foot behind the butt of the fire lock the right toe pointing to the right, and the left to the front. Second, step directly forward with your left foot about as far as the swell of the fire lock and lay it upon the ground. Your left hand hanging down by your left foot and your right kept fast with the butt end against it. Third, raise yourself up again nimbly, bringing back your left foot to its former position, keeping your body face to the right. Fourth, Face again to the left upon your heels and come to your proper front, letting your hands hang down without motion. Take up your fire locks! Four motions. First, face to the right upon both heels. Second, sink your body down and come to the position described in the second motion of grounding. Third, raise yourself and fire lock, bringing it close to your right side. Fourth, come to your proper front seizing the fire log at the muzzle, as in explanation 15. Rest your fire logs! Three motions. First, slip your right hand down the barrel as far as the swell. Second, raise the fire lock high up in a perpendicular line from the ground with your right hand and seize it with the left above the spring, the cock, the height of the waist belt. Third, step back with your right foot placing it behind your left heel and come to the rest. Shoulder your fire locks. Two motions. First, lift up your right foot and place it by your left. Bring the fire lock at the same time to your left shoulder and seize the butt end with the left hand, keeping it in the same position as above described. Second, throw your right hand briskly back. Secure your fire locks. Three motions. First, bring the right hand briskly up and place it under the cock, keeping the fire lock steady in the same position. Second, quit the butt with the left hand and seize the fire lock with it at the swell, bringing the elbow close down under the lock. The right hand kept fast in this motion and the piece still upright. Third, quit the right hand and bring it down your right side bringing the fire lock nimbly down to the secure, the left hand in a line with the waist belt. Shoulder your fire locks! Three motions. First, bring the fire lock up to a perpendicular line, seizing it with the right hand under the cock. Second, quit the left hand and place it strong upon the butt. Third, quit the right hand and bring it smartly down the right side. Fix your... Bayonets! Three motions. First and second, motions as in the two first of the secure. Third, quit the right hand and bring the fire lock smartly down to the left side with the left hand as far as it will admit without constraint, seizing the bayonet at the same time with the right hand and fixing it, placing that hand just below the brass with a piece close to the hollow of the shoulder. Shoulder your fire locks! Three motions. First, quit the right hand and bring up the fire lock with the left, seizing it again under the cock with your right, as in the second motion of secure. Second, quit the left hand and place it strong upon the butt. Third, quit the right hand and bring it down the right side. Present your arms! As explained in the three motions of the 14th word of command. To the right! Face! First, bring up the fire lock with a quick motion high before you, 
till your left hand come even with your eyes, with the fingers of that hand extended along the stock just above the feather spring. The right foot to be brought close up to the left heel in this motion. Face to the right, taking care and facing to hold the firelock right up and down and steady in your hands. Third, step back with your right foot and come down to your present. Do the right about! Face! As in the foregoing explanation, coming to the right about instead of to the right. Do the left! Face! Three motions. First, bring the right foot briskly to the hollow of your left, with the fire lock in same position as in the first motion of facing to the right. Second, face to the left. Third, come down to your present. Do the left about! Face! As before, coming to the left about instead of to the left. Shoulder your firelocks. Charge bayonets. First, as in explanation one. Second, bring the swell of the firelock down strong upon the palm of the hand, turning upon both heels to the right, and the right hand grasping the piece at the small behind the lock, and as high as the waist belt, the firelock upon a level with the barrel upwards. Shoulder your firelocks. First, bring up the fire lock to the shoulder, place the left hand upon the butt, bringing the feet square to the front. Second, quit the right hand and throw it down the right side. Advance your arms! Four motions. First and second, as in explanation one. Third, bring the fire lock down the right side with the right hand, as low as it would admit without constraint, slipping up the left hand the same time to the swell. The guard between the thumb and forefinger of the right hand, the three last fingers under the cock with the barrel to the rear. Fourth, quit the left hand. Shoulder your firelocks. Three motions. First, bring up the left hand and seize it at the swell. Second, come smartly up to a poise. Third and fourth, shoulder. Prime and load! Fifteen motions. First, come smartly to the recover by springing the fire lock straight up with the left hand, turning the barrel inwards to the proper height of the recover. At the same time that the left hand springs the fire lock, the right hand is raised briskly from the right side and seizes the fire lock across the breast. As it rises below the cock, the left hand comes with a quick motion from the butt and seizes the fire lock strong above the lock. The little finger of the left hand at the spring of the lock, the left hand at an equal height with the eyes. The butt close to the left breast, but not pressed. The fire lock perpendicular, opposite the left side of the face. Second, bring the fire lock down with a brisk motion to the priming position. The left hand holding the fire lock as in priming. The thumb of the right hand placed against the face of the steel, the fingers clenched and the elbow a little turned out that the wrist may be clear of the cock. Third, open the pan by throwing up the steel with a strong motion of the right arm, turning the elbow in and keeping the fire lock steady in the left hand. Fourth, handle the cartridge. Fifth, prime. Sixth, shut pans. Seventh, cast about. Eighth and ninth, load. 10th and 11th, draw rammers. 12th, ram down cartridge. 13th, return rammers. 14th and 15th, shoulder.